Hi, I'm sorry I can't be with you this evening. I had to go out of town. But I want to thank Father for inviting me here to give my vocation story as we celebrate in the church this weekend, Consecrated Life. My story is kind of uh, interesting, I think, at times. Um, it began, I guess, when I was three or four, uh, third or fourth grade. I had gone to Catholic school. And we used to play, uh, believe it or not, teacher and priest, because the nuns were teachers and the priests were in the school as well. So that's all we knew in our community, in my neighborhood. So we used to play school. And so that kind of, I think, started the development of my uh, vocation. Then I, you know, you forget about it. And in high school, towards the end of my high school year, it started coming back again. You know, is this what I want to do? Why? And then I kept saying, God, just leave me alone. Why are you doing this to me? Because I really had plans to be a police officer on horseback because I'm an avid horse person. I rode for shows, equestrian. And so I thought that would be a perfect job for me. However, police uh, were not at that time, because I'm old enough, that women were not allowed to be part of the, the horse, horsemanship of the police. So I didn't, that's all I wanted. So I went to school, I started my social work degree then. And as, I, as it developed, I kept having this yearning and I was praying and discerning and I kept saying, God doesn't want me, you know, because I'm not good enough or they're for these holy people or, you know, all these thoughts I used to push out of my head. And then, so I went and spoke to my, the priest of our parish and he said, you know, he helped me start to navigate that process of discernment. So in the meantime, what happened is I, I said to him, a lot of why I was hesitant was I didn't want to teach myself. I never saw myself as a teacher. So he said, oh, I have the perfect community for you. It's an Italian community. It's, you know, and they'll, they don't teach. So I looked into them and they were the daughters of St. Paul. I was very, I was 18 years old. And so I thought that's where I was supposed to go. So I entered the daughters of St. Paul. However, I left six months before my first vows because it just didn't feel right. I just, it wasn't, uh, what I thought it was. So then I came out and I worked. I started going back to school to finish my degree with classes here and there part-time and working. But then when I was 29, I really felt the urge again. And I kept saying, I already did this. I, I did this once, God doesn't, you know. And so I had moved upstate New York to Messina with my parents from Philly because my mother is originally from Messina. And so we moved back there and while I was in Messina, it kept getting stronger. I was working as a security guard for Clarkson University. And so I still was in the police field some way. And uh, then I, uh, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Watertown were there. And so I started, and I was very active in my parish, always doing youth ministry. And then I began the process with them after a long, and I entered the, the Watertown St. Joseph's. And then um, after my final vows and, and I had lost both my parents and I felt the, the need to, to broaden my perspective of culture. And I just felt that I was being stagnated, stagnated where I was. And so I um, then switched to the daughters, of, uh, sisters of St. Joseph in Albany, Latham, where I have been for 20 years and uh, have found a great relationship with them, doing work with God and the youth. And now, as you know, I'm here at Binghamton University as the campus minister. And I love ministering to our young people, uh, especially those who, because they wanna be here. So it gives it a whole different flavor of my ministry. And so that's kind of, and just so you know, I celebrate my 25th Jubilee this year, which I'm very excited about. Uh, unfortunately, with the pandemic, I don't know what kind of celebration it'll be, but I'm happy and to be serving God and to have been with you. So thank you for this time.